when he goes to punch and you're here, all you have to do is worry about one arm if it's just punching. Now, if it's kicking, you worry about a leg, but still I'm going to go behind it. So the object is learning how to disappear. That's it. So the way we used to do it as a drill, I go to punch him, he disappear. Then he's here. Now I go to punch him here, you he disappear here. And I, I want to get him here. I'm saying, hey, I'm dying. See, I even tried faster to get him there. Now I go straight. Now he's behind me. This is, uh, and Sifu Troy will tell you, this is uh, calculus. Yes, this is calculus. Higher, higher martial arts training. Some people never try to teach you this at the beginning. For me, I break rules. <coughs> I teach it at the beginning, because you can learn. Okay, now, try to hit me here, I move here. Sideways, right? Now watch the 45. I let him in, so I hit him with a jab. Let him in. See, they're right onto you right here. I hit him with that jab. See, that works there too. And then what you got left is, I'll do it again for you, see, Detroit. 45 here, 45 here. Then you got 45 going in, 45 going in. Now you got side, and you got side. Then you got 45 going back, 45 going back. And the one thing I didn't tell you, naturally you got forward, you got retreating back. Naturally you got forward and retreating back. Right? Yes. Then what else do you have? Circle. Now you got the circle. If you have all those, you have footwork in combat. Yes. But if you're limiting yourself a little bit, you don't know how to move. Sometimes yes. you will circle, sometimes you will sidestep, sometimes you will back. Oh, you the, have it all. The, uh, the pivot sl slips. Oh, which one? The okay. pivot slips. Yeah, when you go like here. This one you move your legs. When he goes for my legs. I move the legs out of the way. I don't want the legs. The only reason why people get legs is because they're going back, and that's where they go. Then they're stuck. So when I see him, actually I chop him in the neck. So I put pain on the neck as I move. Ow! <laughs> so another thing is we do this. Master Choi does this when you go. And that's a takedown. That's from Bagua. <clears throat> what they do is they grab the neck, they twist. But a simple one my teacher did is too simple. The brain weighs how much? Two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds. So it's heavy when they push down. So when they go to grab the leg, they push down. Then you stop if you want. But the object is to go side. Don't go back. Going back, you always get messed up. You can parry, you can parry going back, but sooner or later you're going to get hit. So, when you go here, this goes here. Now this could be on the hand. Now this can be punching the head. Now this can go in the wrap. You can do whatever you want. Knee to the <laughs> ribs, the kidneys, or whatever. But every person has a different style, and it will work for them. But my Chinese teacher, he already did uh, ground fighting before, way back. He was a brown belt in judo, but that's when they had rat tan mats. They throw you on rat tan. Ouch. So the object is when someone's charging you, go here. Bring the head here. Now you can go to hit. Now you can go to kick the face or whatever you want to do because the person's lower. See, or rib, or a tie kick, or like a groin, but kick to his rib, or kick his shoulder out. See, oblique. So uh, another thing is, uh, when he goes like this, I can automatically get behind and I stretch him out. But that's what you want. It's all in the footwork. It's all in the footwork. Now, see for Rich, he shows a simple thing. <coughs> when you got the legs, you grab the leg. He goes like this and he rich hands the arm. This automatically oh. breaks. This will cause a break in the arm. See, right from here. But you have to watch out for that. A lot of people will charge. But the reason why, you're always going back. So you've got to do something. You can't stand there and let someone grab you. So even when he goes to punch, I'm here. Now this would be a, a break the leg. And this automatically would be a choke. Now if I want to make it worse, I put my hand on here. You tap one up. Yep, the RNC. Okay. Automatically it fits. 
See, now, another thing, if you want, he goes to punch here. This is a bad one. This comes up through here. As this slaps him here, this takes down. That could be a takedown. We do yeah. joint locks. Can easily you ring down. someone's bell like that. Yeah. So, let's set up again. Another round, but it's going to be different. Nice.